So now we would like to do a small game like Mario. So we are not like Mario at the moment because when our character touches the ground then he can walk on it. But we would like him to be killed if he touches the bottom. So let's go in here under sorry under character level bounds and put that on kill again. Don't know if you remember, we set it on constraint so that he can walk here. Now we want him to be killed. So you will see a small issue if we start. If we start the game, then you saw him maybe very shortly in here and that was it. It means he was killed but was not respawned. I would like to do that, like Mario, if he falls, he starts the level again. So let's maybe move that in here, our level start. But we need to activate the next ability, which is health. As usual, there are some configurations that you can tweak around, like how much health do you want to have him and um, others, but for now this is the one. Respawn at initial location. So if we click that here and we save it, then uh, let me make sure that I really did the change on the prefab itself. Yes, I did. So now if we click on play, then you see him dying and respawning. Great! So let's give him a platform. So it's time to create our platforms for our platformer. Uh, before we start with the tile maps platforms, I would like to show you how it would work if you don't have pixel art or not have a tile map. It's uh, quite easy. We go and find us a asset. I will go to Sunland Artwork and Environment, and I will just pick one of those. I like this one. So I copy and paste it in here and then you see we have our platform yes so now we can move it and extend it but this is not enough if I would just click on play that would definitely not it will definitely not be enough because we are missing a collider, we are missing a rigid body and we are missing something else. I don't know if you remember when we go here to the prefabs and the fox and you had here the collisions. We need to tell him what kind of collision this is. This is special for the Corgi engine. So let's do a rigid body 2D and let's do a box collider 2D. Right. So rigid body, we should maybe look that this is static and then we shall move that to the platforms. So it belongs now to the play uh, to the layer platforms. I would just like to have, no, the set axis, set, set axis is okay. Okay, so now if we click play, aha, now we can move him around. Okay, so now we would like to start with the tile maps. This is a big theme actually. 
So I will link in the description one great tutorial from Breakies. I, I love their tutorials. So please take a look at them because I will not have the time to go very deep into this theme. It's a Unity thing, not a Corgi engine thing. Um, either way, we start with creating the tile map. There you go to your hierarchy and you click on 2D objects, tile map, and then you see there are different um, options that you have. And we want to have the rectangular one. So the moment you created them, you have now automatically the grid. You see that? And we have here one tile map. So because because we will do the same that I did before uh, for the platforms I can already set that layer to platforms and in order to have a better overview in your game I would suggest you name that also platforms platforms and because you are already here, you can click with Ctrl D and duplicate that. So let's create now a tile palette. So when you want to design your levels, you need a tile palette to have your tile mapping. So what does it mean? You should go here under Windows 2D and choose the tile palette. So this is the tile palette from the retro palette from the Corgi engine. I will move it in here. You can well move it wherever you like. But uh, I will not use that one. You could use that one. And it's actually a very nice one because you see you can draw that in here. But I would like to use the asset from Sunnyland. So we go to Sunnyland, we go to the environment and we have here our tile set sliced. This tile set sliced means that we have all these tile sets sliced in 16 by 16 pixels. How to do that? Again, I will link you to a very nice tutorial from Breakies. So for ourselves, we would like to create a new palette, which we will call Sunnyland. Oops, caps lock. Sunnyland and create it. So if we want to have some kind of uh, order in here. I will create one. Oops. I will create one which will be called tile maps. And if we want to be exact with it, we will create one with Sunnyland. So now he created a new palette under Tile Maps Sunnyland. And then we need to drag and drop all those tiles. So you go here to the father of those tiles, set sliced, and you just drag and drop it in here to the tile palette. And now he wants again that we put it somewhere. I think for me it's enough to have it in here. I know it's not the best solution, but I have. Mm, I don't want to open too much folders. So now that we have our tile palette, we are able to draw these tiles into this grid that you see in here. So make sure that you have activated the platforms. 
now how can we design that or how can we draw that well this is maybe familiar for you when you have done some MS paint or paintbrush or whatever um, paint tool that you use you just need the brush and you need what you want to choose and you just design that here so as you see this is just like a paint brush and you can choose that here I will make a little error for later and let's create that one okay now I want to fill that up with something uh, I can just go with the brush and draw the, all that but if it's a bigger area you are happy that you have here the box where you can just choose and let it go there is also the possibility to make that one here and then what should we take that here and so now you have made a fill but that's not what I wanted and the next tool is to delete so there you have it it's a very nice first platform that we have in here so now that we have our platform we can still not play it because well you can try to play it but the character will just fall down because there is no collider remember on my first example I had to add a, a collider so how do we do that with the tile map so choose again the platforms and add here a collider so which collider should we use it must be definitely a 2d collider and maybe you can use a box collider and just add here the colliders by themselves but that's not what we really wanted to because we have a better solution for time maps and that's the tile map collider 2d so once we have clicked that we are able to play the game you have seen for each grid you have your own collider and because we have it on the layer platforms it should work hopefully yes great but there is something it's not very optimal if you have for each one of those grids the own tile map collider set so if you want to export it for mobile games it will lag sometimes so you should think about having one overall there is a solution for that and that's the composite composite collider 2d so once you have here your composite collider 2d you can go to your tile map collider 2d and click on used by composite and you have seen the green line is now on the outside of the tile map that you have drawn and if you draw something again um, then you see the collider the green part is also in here right so that's that's great and now we can play and we should still be able to walk on that platform oh right I forgot something the rigid body when you uh, create the composite collider 2d he automatically adds a rigid body 2d and if you have it on dynamic then he thinks that gravity or the gravity has an impact in here I don't want that so now again and 
Yes. So the last thing I want to show you today is the platforms that we have created. We have a second one. Remember, we had a control V on that one and we may want to have a second art of platforms. So let's say we want to have here on our tile a map of the platforms and another platform. Just one for fun. Come on, let's better do that here. So that should behave like this platform. But now we want to have another kind of platform, and that's the one way platforms. And to not mix that up, one way platforms. So now that we have chosen the one-way platforms, we are still able to get to our tile palette and let's put it in here. And then again on platforms, because this would be then a platform again. Okay, so now that we have defined that this is a one-way platform, we need a collider for that one too. So now we have two different kind of platforms. The normal platform, and you see that green highlighted and the one-way platforms. It can get a little bit confusing when you are working on different layers in here. So my tip in here is, let's say you want to make sure what those platforms here are, you can go to the other one and deactivate it. So you see, aha, this is how it's working and then deactivate the platforms and activate the one-way platforms again and so you are able here to maybe fix some small errors that happened while you were drawing because it's not natural to change from one layer to another while you are designing the same element. <laughs> 